Hey, how's it going everybody? Dan here again with another episode of Assassin's Creed 3. I want to start off by saying sorry. Uh, <laughs> I've been posting videos. I actually didn't really mean to go uh, two days without posting a video. It's just uh, hardware issues. I don't know why, but sometimes, um, most of the time it doesn't. But sometimes, um, the video files cause my computer to overheat for really no reason. So, I don't, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it just does that. And uh, on those days, I can't do anything because for some reason video won't work so I have to do this workaround that takes forever and then it was even causing it to overheat Buster so Kinley. yeah <laughs> did you find it then it was not the right place the others are waiting for you gentlemen please sit I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Sleuth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. What? May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, of understanding guide, us. Guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? That just made no sense at all. Okay. So, I'm a Templar. I feel bad. I feel dirty. Like, I, I need to go take a shower now. Because that just... You all that saw just that, right? didn't make any sense. Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <sighs> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much. But try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. You're running out of time. Right. That was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. 
Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Well, I said before, I've never seen a rich <laughs> a rich assassin in any of the main games. I mean, there is one in the, the PS Vita version, but still, uh, n yeah, no, uh, so yeah, he's not an assassin, Templar. That kind of makes me sad, because I actually really like that character, but it still, do it just doesn't make sense. I mean, how is, he I mean, he was doing very assassin-like things, and I don't, I just really don't get it. What is this? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just here. Um. <laughs> okay, was there anywhere I was told to go? I, I don't honestly remember. Oh, probably over here. To claw. Oh, no, why am I about to do that? <laughs> I about le leap to my death. But, ah, oh, yeah, I, I, I feel. I just. What? <laughs> I have no clue what just happened. I feel that it was a. Um, that was a cheap shot. Definitely. thought we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, uh, well, that's what I love about Assassin's Creed, though. You, the series, you, I mean, you're always, you know, going to be thrown for some twist. Just usually not this early into the game. I mean, that's never really happened before, which, uh, it's a good thing. I just, I just, why him? I like that character. I didn't want him to be, an, I mean, a Templar. I mean, that just, it's, it just doesn't make sense. He just doesn't fit the whole Templar thing. Ah. <sighs> Besides being rich. But I mean he was helping the Indians and he, he just seemed like the assassin. Which I mean I know that that's the point. I mean if they made it too obvious then you know where would the plot twist be in that? I don't know. I didn't know if that was going to be a bad idea or what. Anyways. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know why I feel like this is announcing. I mean felt like this was worth announcing. But I guess I'm going to have to wait because of a cutscene. So I'll announce it after the cutscene. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Okay. <sighs> Depressing. But anyways, uh, I, I, I finally got to watch The Dark Knight Rises. And um, yeah, best superhero movie of 
of all time. I don't care what you say. I, I saw Avengers, yeah, I saw it. And, um, no, no, it doesn't compare. Um, I mean, yeah, it's funny, and, yeah, you know, it's got some big personalities, whatever, whatever. But it, the, just the level of um, cinematography, the, the script, the um, actually caring about the characters, <laughs> yeah, that mm, definitely doesn't hit the level that um, that uh, Batman does. So, that's why I name, officially name it my... Favorite superhero movie of all time. I guess we should go over here to the woman. And she disappeared. Okay. Back in the animus I go. Alright. Here goes. She has a baby. Except Connor's gonna be an awesome assassin. <sighs> and one day he. I wonder if I get to kill Haytham. I don't want to, but I mean, you know, it's all within. It's definitely within the time frame. I mean, it could happen. It could. Um. Um. But. I guess now the game actually begins. I don't know. It's been a while. For, I mean, sequence four. You know, three sequences before for an intro. But uh, I don't know how many sequences the game is. Usually they're, I don't know. I think what thirteen, eight, between. I don't remember. Thirteen, eighteen, something in the teens. Twenty. Who cares? Is it one day star? Hmm. Onisa Jerdha. How it was next to Dosa is it not a Honda de Yahaze? Okay, go from being a Templar assassinating everybody and being kind of cool to being a child and playing in the forest. Oh well. I get to be an Indian and play with my Indian friends. I, I, uh, where are we going guys? I mean like really. Are we just going to run around? Is this playing for you guys? Uh, oh, oh, can't do anything. I, I, I was wanting to punch the bucket. That's that, that's a fun game. Punch the bucket. Shoo. Home. Wait, go home. Shoo. Whatever. Oh, come on, guys. You're, you're slow. I'm, I can outrun all of you. Ooh, what are you? Oh, okay. Say, so he looks like he's just bending down the grass doing nothing. He pretty much is. That's kind of stupid. Anyways. And uh, also, I saw a um, I saw a uh, a hotel in in Taiwan. I want to go now. I want to go to Taiwan so bad because th there's a Batman hotel and it's fifty dollars a night, uh, which is really cheap. But and you should see the hotel. Just Google it. Uh, Batman Hotel, Taiwan. <laughs> it's the coolest hotel I've ever seen. Even cooler than that stupid, uh, that stupid uh, da -da -da, uh, ice hotel, which is just dumb. I mean, that, that looks cold. It's not like you can actually do anything in that hotel. And just sit there and be like, I'm cold. Hot and seek. Since the 1700s. Oh, come on. I'm it, so that means I have to go find everybody? <sighs> I hope the cinematic funds for me. No, not, uh, not. Oh, please let the cinematic find. Wait, count to one hundred. That's torture. 
My god. When I was a kid, we just counted to, to 10. And I lost a clue. Oh yeah, that's right. They have like super scene. They can see footprints and stuff, those Indians. Um, so they went off toward these. These, the, or, yeah, toward these. That, that doesn't make sense. Toward this way. Okay. I wonder if he puts his ear to the ground. He can hear them breathing. I bet he's behind this rock. Right here. Here. Oh man. There. Uh, this way. Find all the children within a given time. Well, screw you. I'm not gonna find them in th that time limit. Search zone narrowed. Find all children without making a mistake. I made a mistake. Was that accidentally going into the the the, the haystack is a mistake? Well, that's stupid. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Let's just waste my time playing hide and seek. I don't really want to play hide and seek. No, oh, what well, clue? Two sets. Two sets. Oh, oh, oh! Somewhere, somewhere near here. Is he in there? Ah. Those are just birds. Um, I bet that that's considered a mistake too. I bet that's why they considered a mistake. Is that two of them in there? Wonder what they were doing in there. Kids, kids these days. Kids these days. All right, let's uh, go down here and possibly find this guy before the time runs out. Oh God, that's a, that's a, that was a big jump. But it's okay. He'll be an assassin one day. He'll be making higher jumps. I just really don't understand. Like, how is Hatham? I mean, I know he has a, he has a. I guess he gets all the, the powers from his ancestors, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, he has all the assassin powers. But uh, he's ah uh, he's a Templar, and he's lending his assassin powers to the Templars, having eagle vision and all that crap. Okay, we're here. What do we do now? Did what How about we don't? Please, I don't want to play again. You gotta tell me I'm, I'm gonna have to hide. Take notes, people. That's how you count an Indian. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen. Alright. Where should I hide? I wanna hide as far away as I can. Probably where I shouldn't be going. <laughs> and I'll probably get caught. Or not. They'll, they'll just be problems. Yep, problems. What have we here? Oh. Templars. People that I used to like but not now you look familiar where have I seen you before that wasn't very nice so did he just spit on him <laughs> Listen to that. He knows English. Small for a savage. He's spirited too. We have questions for your elders. Only tell us where your village is, boy, and you can go. Best do as he asks, child. I could snap your neck, you know. A little more pressure. 
and pop. The sad little flame of your life extinguished. You are a nothing, a speck of dust. You and all your ilk, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. The wiser among you recognize the shape of the future. They throw themselves at our feet and beg mercy. But not you, it seems. No. You cling desperately to your ways, too ignorant to know your folly. But I am not unkind. And so I spare you. That you may carry word to your people. Let them know the sooner we are given what we seek, the sooner you can return to your pathetic, empty lives. A fair trade, is it not? What is your name? <laughs> Charles Lee. Why do you ask? So I can find you. <laughs> I look forward to it. Okay, I'm really hoping that all the people that were at the beginning with Haytham are actually the people, my assassination targets. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so now I have to walk blurry-eyed back to the village? Hmm kind of questioning if I should do this or not because uh, it's already been 20 something minutes I don't want to um, have the problem that I've been having with videos and not able to render it yeah! and therefore not have videos again and of course it's on fire uh, I mean I, I, no wonder there was stuff everywhere smoke fog whatever fog smoke smoky fog stupid deer I could have been if I was driving a car you would have just died and my windshield would have been broken. Why would they do such a thing? <laughs> Seriously? A tree? A tree. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm just trying to... Oh, here we go. Huh. <sighs> Looks a little bit too heavy for him. Oh, okay, never mind. I I don't know what I'm. I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like. Was it that strong? It made the whole ground shake or something. Easter! I was like, can he not just crawl under that? <laughs> they better not have killed my mom. Easter! Okay. Coming. Uh, how about you just open the freaking door, dude? It's like right here. Come on now. Can we open the door? There's nothing blocking it. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Why can't I not just open the door? It's gonna have to be difficult, isn't it? Ow, what is going on? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Just open the door. I don't I don't get it. I, I, I just really don't get it. Hmm, okay. Well, obviously fire bad, so we won't go through the fire. However, I mean, you think I'd be able to just, I don't know, sit here and open the door. I mean, looks like I could just crawl in through there. Oh well, I guess I really honestly have no clue what to do. Besides run through here. Okay, I got, okay. That worked, even though the door was perfectly fine. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Okay. That was the worst game of hide and seek ever. Okay, well, um, that was a depressing ending anyways. Uh, that's going to be all for this part. Whenever we get back, I guess we'll continue being Connor and doing cool things and hopefully killing all those Templar guys that we met at the beginning of the series. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part.